Hello and welcome to today's podcast, uh, the Ecom Sales Tax Podcast. Really, the Everything Sales Tax Podcast. My name is Ryan Johnson, and I'm your host. I can see I'm a little uh, relaxed today, as day after Christmas, and um, I was uh, just when I was making breakfast this morning um, for my kids. Uh, we got some family here as well, so if you guys hear sound in the background, uh, that's what's going on. But I was thinking, I need to make a podcast about, you know, what to expect and what to do uh, going into uh, next year, uh, 2020. I think 2020 should be your year uh, that you get uh, your sales taxes in order. Uh, really, it, it, It's the great year. It's 2020. You know, your vision is going to be 2020 uh, with your, your sales tax account. Going into the future, I think it's just it's a great year. It's a great year. Uh, so I just want to kind of talk about um, what you should be doing, what you should be looking at uh, going into the future. Now, as we all know, 2018 was a big year uh, for sales tax. Uh, no one could have guessed uh, Quill would be overturned in the Supreme Court. When's the last time sales tax has been in the Supreme Court? not in the last 50 years, so <laughs> it's a big deal. And if you aren't uh, aware of that, um, I'll have a, you know, we wrote an article, great article um, about the changes that were made in 2018 uh, with that Supreme Court decision. So make sure and check out that link. Um, it takes it to our website, great, great stuff there. So make sure you're caught up on that and what's going on uh, before you get into today's podcast. Um, but in 2019, you know, I think we saw some unprecedented numbers of sales tax law changes uh, happen. Um, we now have two different kinds of nexus. We got physical nexus that was all the rage for a long time, uh, for, for years and years. And you had just to, if you didn't have physical nexus in the state, no nexus. But now there's economic nexus. And, and that is a little more dangerous um, and it's something you definitely need to be looking at. Um, and if you don't know what the different economic nexus laws are, guess what? They're always changing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, some states put in some laws in 2018, 2019, they changed them. Uh, they said, never mind, uh, it, we've changed it. So going 2019, laws are completely different. So uh, it's, it's tough to keep up with the changes, um, but, but we're a place to be to help you always keep on top of those different changes. And, you know, I, in this podcast, I'm not going to try and uh, to predict what will happen in 2020. Uh, I think with sales tax, it's, it's unpredictable. It's, it's always changing. Um, but I do want to give you a few things to look at going into the new year, just to know just help you to know uh, exactly what uh, sales tax footprint you may have and how to address it, if it's good or bad. Uh, so let's, let's get right into it. <clears throat> so some things to look at is kind of, you know, how are you operating your business? Um, if, if you are selling on Amazon, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta be aware of how that um, affects your Nexus footprint. You've also got to know you know if your sales tax is set up correctly to collect the right sales tax rate um, same with in, if you're doing any e-commerce business it could be ebay etsy um, on your own website however you're doing your a, your business online you need to be taking a look at that and understand how that creates nexus for you both physical and um physically and economically. So you, you need to, to be sure um, that you have that lined up correctly. Um, another thing to look at is, is your, your, your products. If you've never uh, looked to see if your products are taxable or not within a state that you're selling into and you're collecting sales tax, that would definitely be something to look into, especially if, if you are planning on adding another product uh, to your lineup, and that would be a great time um, to look into the taxability 
of your different uh, products. And, and you can do that by, you know, Googling it, calling a state. You can look at the different regulations and the statutes um, within the state, the state laws. Maybe you have some, you have a, a CPA you use. Um, you can see if that, if, if they have a service like that, um, we also provide that service to where we can look at um, your Amazon account, your, your e-commerce sites, whatever it is, and look over it, make sure that you're collecting the right sales tax rate, make sure everything is set up correctly, and we will look at the taxability of your products. Um, and, and, you know, that could really, really help out because really that will help determine whether or not you should get registered in a state um, and we can make recommendations uh, based on those just those small uh, items so another thing to look at is do you have physical nexus in a state um, and another thing we have is our top 10 nexus creating activities and i've also posted that down below so make sure you get your copy of that um, but you're going to be looking at things like, do you have inventory in the state? And, and that's an obvious one. And also an obvious one, do you have employees or do you have a building? Uh, things, things like that. Or, or maybe have you made um, a delivery into that state using your own vehicle? Have you, um, do you have a third party contractor um, working in a different state? Uh, do you have um, different influencers that are um, putting links out for your different products in different states. Those, those are things that you might not uh, have thought of uh, that can create physical nexus for you. And if it's been going on for years, that's something we definitely need to be looking at um, to determine what your nexus footprint and what our next steps are. Um, and with your economic nexus, um, as, as you probably know, if you've been looking into uh, the new changes in the laws um, with economic nexus, each state kind of has its different threshold. And kind of the average is um, either you have 200 transactions within a state or $100,000 in sales in a state. And that's not overall, that's in each state. And so if you're reaching those thresholds, it, it, we need to be looking into uh, whether or not you should be registered in that state. And economic nexus laws are changing. Um, and I think we can anticipate seeing more changes throughout 2020. Um, um, you know, one benefit of, of using our service is that um, when we would determine your nexus and your taxability, then we can um, look into, uh, you know, the changes in the states and what to look, you know, the states don't just say, hey, the law's changing right now. They broadcast it months in advance. And so we can look at your account going into the future and what to expect. Um, and, and, and we can help you determine, because it, if, if you were to go with a, a software pro provider, online software provider that automates all your sales tax, um, they'll, they'll make recommendations where you can register, but typically, they recommend way more than where you should be getting registered, or they'll, they'll recommend getting a VBA, which is a voluntary disclosure agreement within the state, which is really, really expensive. And so we can make recommendations because we're really conservative when it comes to that. And um, we let you kind of pick and choose what you'd like to do, um, but we'll give you the recommendations to keep you the absolute safest um, when it comes to being audited for a, going under sales tax audit or um, in having a devastating sales tax assessment going into the new year. Uh, because I'm ho I, I imagine you're, you're hoping to use some of the profits that you earned from 2019 and reinvesting into your company to, to build it um, up in 2020 and not have to spend or go into debt or go out of business just to pay a sales tax assessment that you were unaware of um, in the last five or 10 years. So those are just a few things, um, of course, 
but but I think those are the vital things to be looking at um, when it, going into 2020 to make sure that your sales tax account is is ready for 2020 and uh, you don't have any upsets in 2020 when you're this is your year this is it this is when you're gonna you're gonna grow exponentially um, and we don't want you to suffer a devastating sales tax assessment that could just cripple your business uh, for this year. So some of the things that we can do for you, uh, I kind of talked about throughout the podcast, but we have a great uh, service we call the Next Review, where we kind of go over the nexus, um, looking at your physical nexus, looking at your economic nexus, um, and not just currently, but for, for years past, just to make sure that uh, you won't have any surprises when you start registering within the state. We'll also look at the taxability of your products um, because uh, based on the taxability of products in different states, we can recommend whether or not to get registered in that state. Uh, you may have physical economic nexus there, but if your product's not taxable, do you need to get registered there? It's something we can, we'll discuss with you uh, just so that we can we can push the cost down as much as possible uh, to, to help you um, in your bottom line there. Um, also, um, what we can do for you is, is help you get registered you know, or help you get to a VDA. We'll, we'll recommend whether or not you should do, should do a VDA in a state and we'll help you uh, get that done as well. And so once you get registered, once you or you have VDA done, and we'll monitor that process all the way through. Uh, we also offer the service of, of you know, filing and uh, completing your sales tax returns. So that's something we can talk about as well. And um, another thing to be looking out for is, is if, if you do go under sales tax audit, um, we want to help you to fight that sales tax audit way before an audit even happens. That's kind of our goal is to, is to I don't know if we can prevent sales tax audits from happening, but we can definitely help you to fight it way before it even happens so that you're prepared for any uh, circumstance and so that um, you'll be ready and we can get the assessment as small as possible. So um, we can help you in any stage of an audit, any stage of whether you're starting to get registered, you're unsure if you should be registered because we can also help you deregister if we think that you don't need to be registered in the state. Um, so uh, with that, uh, good luck in this next year, 2020. Uh, we've got some great podcasts lined up for you this year. We're excited to get going and um, excited to, to see what you do this year. I wanna see you guys grow and uh, become successful. Uh, and we wanna help you throughout that process um, because really a sales tax assessment or any, or a sales tax audit, you know, that, that comes from your bottom line. I don't want to see that happen to you. And I'm sure you don't want that to happen to you. So make sure and stay subscribed to our podcast. Um, we'll be, I'll be uploading podcasts throughout the year. Um, goal is every week. That's my goal. And, uh, answering all of your questions, all of your concerns, um, so with that, thank you so much uh, for a great year this year and hope to see you guys on the next one.